What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, let's talk about Pepe Proof of Work. I am curious, are you mining it? Do you have any idea what it is? And are you perhaps trading it for something else? But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so by the end of the video. So if you've been to hashrate.no recently, you would have noticed that Pepe Proof of Work is one of the most profitable coins to mine, especially if you're paying over 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, there are some exceptions, uh, say for example, the 3060 Ti or the 3080, but as a whole, it looks like Pepe proof of work has been at the top of the profitability calculators for a while. By the way, this coin was launched uh, approximately 13 days ago. The time of recording right now is March 26, 2023. So Chump Change and Yeti put out a video just a few days ago uh, talking about Pepe and it looks like there may be something malicious in the wallet. So in case you're not familiar with the video that they put out, I do recommend giving that a watch before downloading any of the hardware wallets. So if you don't want to mine to a core wallet that potentially has some malicious software in it, there are some alternatives. Now, of course, we all know that we should not be mining to an exchange wallet address because they're going to disincentivize that type of behavior because all of these tiny transactions can tend to clog up the network. So for that reason, I am using an exchange wallet address from Zegex to create my flight sheet, but I'm not mining directly to that wallet address. Now, if you're not familiar with Zegex, it's really easy to set up and it does not have KYC. There is a limitation, however, on how much you can cash out per day, which I believe is a maximum of 2000. So in order to obtain a wallet address from Zegex, after you've created an account, you simply go to wallet, and then you're going to search for Pepe. And the Pepe that we are looking for is Pepe W. And you'll notice out to the right side here, you're gonna see deposit. Once you select deposit, then you should be presented with your deposit address. You can copy this to your clipboard and then just simply go back to Hive OS. From this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a new wallet for it. So we're gonna to go to wallets. We're going to add a wallet. We're going to put in the ticker symbol Pepe. We're going to paste our wallet address in here and then we're going to give it a name. Then we're going to hit create and once we've done that then we can go back to our workers and create a new flight sheet and to get that information here i am using their minor command line generator so what we're going to do is we're going to select our region then we're going to select our algo which in this case is going to be meme hash and then we're going to select what coin we want to get paid out in so CASPA is what I want to get paid in. Then we're going to select what coin we are mining. And then we are going to paste our wallet address for CASPA here. And that will generate the syntax that you need if you're going to paste this into a bat file. Now, of course, I'm using HiveOS, so we don't need the entire string. What we need is the stratum and this little parameter here that we're going to put in the flight sheet. So if we go back to this, you're going to see we have the pull server and port. For our password, we have C equals CAS. This is telling it that we want to get paid in CASPA. And then this MC equals Pepe W is telling it what algorithm we are mining. For my extra config arguments here, I have disabled the CPU. I do believe that Pepe is CPU mineable. However, my CPU is just not up to the task on this rig. I also have my overclock settings within the bat file, which I obtained from SRB miners, GPU overclock parameters. And I'll leave a link for this down in the description below, but you can tell pretty easily that these overclocks are very similar to what we use for Nexa. So we've got a core offset of 300, 
memory locked at 5001, and the core clock locked at 1470. Now this is for 30 series specifically, so if you have a 40 series or if you're using AMD, then those overclocks are going to be a little bit different, obviously, and make sure that you are on the latest version of SRB minor. So once you have this all set up, you'll notice that the efficiency of this particular coin is going to be very similar to efficiency on Caspa, Radiant, and Dynex. It uses very little power. Uh, you can see we've got a 3060 Ti, a 3070, 3070 Ti, a 3080, a 3080 Ti, a 3090, and a 4070. And the 4070 is really impressive, getting 85.61 mega hash at 98 watts. So 40 series GPUs are going to do really good on this particular algorithm. So once you've got everything up and running, you do want to jump over to Zerg Pool and just confirm that your rig is in fact mining. Everything looks good. You'll also notice that the payment threshold is 124 based on 0 .0001 BTC equivalent. So you will see your percentage of payout that you've reached. And hopefully once you've reached your payout, it was still the most profitable thing to mine. But you never know, the price of Pepe coin could drastically fall, as well as difficulty drastically increasing. So just something to keep in mind, depending on the size of your farm, that's really going to determine how long it takes to get your payout. So what if you don't want to get paid in Caspa and you prefer something else? Well, that's pretty simple. You just simply go here to this drop down and select the coin of your preference. Now, just wanted to point out that these coins here from USDC all the way up to Doge are going to give you what they call a guaranteed payout. If you use any of the other coins that are listed here, uh, there may not be enough liquidity immediately whenever you hit your payout and you might have to wait for them to garner enough of that particular coin to pay you in. Another thing to keep in mind. Okay, last thing to cover before we get out of here, just a reminder, I do have a merch store now. So if you guys are interested in some shirts, a banner, mouse pad, uh, the guys at Crypty have got you covered. And another friendly reminder that the Hivemapper dash cam is actually on sale right now. It is only $2.99, and after promo code MINESOME, you get an extra 30 bucks off. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.